so we're gonna get into it. I want to introduce the most amazing nutrition expert that I know. I go to her. Uh, you know, if you need supplement advice, you need nutrition advice. Um, she's very humble. She describes herself as you know, girl next door, and you know, just come to me for advice and everything. But her knowledge, she explains it like you know anybody can get it. But her knowledge is vast, vast, vast. She can, she can talk. If this was a four-hour workshop, she could sit here and do the whole thing. No problem. But she's an expert. She's also a physique competitor. She has gone to the lengths of being able to bring her body to the furthest it can go. And that's a, that's a challenge. That is, that is something that I look at as an art form, to be able to bring your body to that low body fat percentage, get on stage in front of a bunch of people you don't know, and show them do the physique show. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Nutrition Zone, I'd like to welcome the most amazing nutritional expert I know, Jen Erath! All right! Thank you, thank you. All right, you're all sitting here for a reason, right? <laughs> <laughs> Watch for the ball, they're coming. They're important. I don't want to hit anybody in the face, but they're squishy. They don't hurt so bad, so if they do hurt you, you will not die. <laughs> Boris told you a little bit about me. The thing that's most important to me is why you are here. So I'm gonna tell you why I am here. I don't come here so that you guys can take a picture of me and put it on Facebook, because that gets you no money, last time I checked. Um, I don't come here so that I can listen to myself talk because I do that all day long. I sure don't come here to eat because you guys don't have any food. And I don't come here for any other reason than to help serve you and why you're here. The reason that I am here is to help you guys get to from wherever you are, the level, it does not matter. If, if, you're, if you're here tonight because of a sugar addiction, that is a big thing to break. That is a big habit to break. Addiction is tough. Whether it's Starbucks and Forest Sledge Coffee, whether it is <laughs> carrot cake, trade bread, muffins, fourth time. But I, do. I know it's so bad. But when you get started, it's so hard to stop because behavioral patterns are wrong, right? I am here to help you for whatever the reason is, you are here to get to the next level, whatever that takes to make you healthier, accomplish your goals, and get you to where you want to be, because that is what's important to me. It's not important to me to stand up here and listen to myself talk. I can do that all day long. I'm bored of my own voice, but what I want to hear is your voice. I want to hear your reasons. Why would you do detox? I'm going to pick, let's see pink jacket, cute hair, right there in the middle that I totally overshot and I'm not the face of the plan. Why are you here? Um, I got the detox, uh, detox about 18 years ago and it did break my sugar addiction and I'm highly addicted to sugar. And I'm so we got a sugar addict. Okay, <laughs> we've established there are a lot of sugar addicts here. Hello. We're all sugar addicts in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Where's my plantar fasciitis, mama? Tell everybody your reason. Um, <laughs> I want better skin and to be able to sleep better and a lot more clarity. Better sleep and mental focus, right? Get, anybody get afternoon brain fog? Oh yeah, right? What's brain fog? What, well, what's brain clarity? Because I haven't had that in a while. It's a little bit different for each one of us. The balls are coming, guys. They're, They're important. These balls are important.
not all fat. A lot of it's inflammation from toxicity, from chemicals, from our diet, from our lifestyle, from all the things that we do every boing, every single day that are causing and perpetuating these problems that make our bodies dirty, that make our bodies tired, that make our bodies sick, right? So we heard sugar addiction, we heard brain fog, we heard better sleep, better skin I heard earlier. Any other reasons? Anybody know what Crohn's disease is? Tell them, tell them one sentence about your disease. It's very painful. Okay, Crohn's is very painful and chronic inflammation is something that she suffers from a lot. So with her diet not in check, she's in pain all the time, it's hard to sleep, hurts to move, and she probably wants to give up every single day. That's why I'm here. Because she wants to give up. And I don't want you guys to give up on yourselves because I have had every health condition under the sun, and you go to a doctor, they want to chop it out, look at it, cut something else out, cut something else out. When I started putting different things in my body, I started getting a different result. Stopped being so sick. Started being a lot healthier. That's why. Because you have those problems too. You guys get sick, you guys are toxic, because we all drink Starbucks from time to time, and if you don't, my hat's off to you, because I like it. Not caramel macchiatos, but... Vanilla lattes with foam and caramel and whipped cream are all the rage as far as my brain is concerned. But once you start those, it's pretty tough, right? So, inflammation, toxicity. I'm going to talk a little bit about toxicity, and these balls are going to come into play in a second. So, if you don't have a ball, raise your hand. <laughs> Who doesn't have a ball? Uh oh, we got lots of balls. Okay, so. <laughs> Toxicity. Where does toxicity come from? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, so what's a toxin? What's a toxin? Alcohol. Alcohol is a toxin. Okay. Hold on. For, a foreign substance that goes in your body. Foreign substance. What does that mean? Not made of nature. Some natural things are toxins too at high levels. Not coming from a tree, a plant, not from a natural source. So what about food? If I give you a candy bar, that's a given. We know there's things in candy bars. We know there's things in candy bars. What if I give you a can, listen carefully, a can of green beans? No, it's been processed. Oh, hallelujah, it's been processed. What did they put inside those green beans to make them stay preservatives? Things like MSG, which we don't necessarily label. You know what happens when chemicals get in our bodies? They do not break down. We have to eliminate them through our waste track through the various ways that we get rid of things. When we go to the bathroom, when we sweat, it's tough to get rid of all that stuff. So, come here, Mama. Okay. Right. Who has a green ball? Hang on to those green balls. There's not a lot of green balls. This is an orange ball. Catch. Hello. Throw them up here at her. She's got to catch them all. Oh. Those, not the green ones. Keep the green ones. <laughs> those orange ones. <laughs> 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 Sorry, can you fight back? Can you fight back? She is your body and she can't fight back. She tried. <laughs> you just threw caffeine at her. I put softball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Be the catcher, be one with the glove. <laughs> Who has a blue ball? No one. I see a couple. Throw it at him. Throw it at him. Throw it at him. 